and before you know it I'm back with an another video today we are going to be reviewing something uh, which is quite unique from the rest um, it's this is pretty much a figure a toy as you could uh, say it but it's a Japanese toy and it's not just any Japanese toy it's actually an anime PVC figure it's probably like one of the earliest PVC figure that I got I got this thing from a couple of years ago and it is a Queen's Blade figure this thing is like one of the random box ones meaning that um, you have no idea what you're gonna get in the box you just pay money for it and then hopefully that you'll get exactly what you want these three girls in front of this box are the uh, figures that you could possibly get by opening one by, by purchasing one of these things and they come in various colors that is the uh, the this is these are the uh, normal colors you can get Wow huh. uh, these are the um, normal colors um, well these are the alternate colors that you can get from this set um, so um, for the packaging um, I have no idea what's written down there it just says uh, the English says Queen's Blade collectible figure volume 1 Hobby Japan and I have no idea what's written down there I have no idea what's written here the only thing I know is that that's Happy Net which is the brand that makes the company that makes these figures and that's the Queen's Blade and that is the one of the figures that you can potentially get by purchasing this thing and there's a phone number and there's the barcode and not a barcode I'm not sure, I'm not sure. so um, it's a back in box um, figure because I bought this thing new and that's the official dealer of Hobby Japan official license by Hobby Japan so without further ado let's take this thing out and see what do we got so I obviously had opened this thing once and I know exactly what I got and I got this girl in so I got this one instead uh, which is I have no idea what her name is um, I'm not sure what is the name of this uh, this 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 character, uh, but this is what I got, and I paid about ten dollars for this um, figure, anime figure. It's quite a lot, comparing that I used to get a much better looking figure than this for an American one, uh, for much less. But then again, due to the fact that this is an um, anime figure and it has like a lot of fan service everywhere so I it, so uh, that explains the high price of this figure at ten dollars each and the sculpting so to move on with the sculpting uh, the sculpting is decent um, you know there's like some really fine lines everywhere and why isn't this thing eliminated properly? <clears throat> um, you know, the quality of the sculpt is okay. It really, uh, the artist that sculpted this really um, managed to capture that anime look of this figure. Ah, uh, anime look from on this figure. And you know, um, there are some fine detailing on the hand the shield you know I, I don't really um, watch this anime or a video game whatever it is inspired from and there's like a uh, you know a lot of fan service where she's not wearing a bra it's just the plate discovering her uh, sides I have to put some tissue paper in there due to the fact that apparently this figure is extremely loot you can actually make her naked I'm not going to show it here due to the fact that it's going to be uh, due to the fact that you know um, YouTube is a Christian site and we can show that here on this site so on the bottom here it says hobby Japan made in China the chance in hell is going to be made in Japan <laughs> even though it cost me like $10 I'm not sure why 
Detail is okay, the painting is okay um, You can definitely get a much better figure at this price point If you look hard enough But um, this is quite decent I guess Is there like a nipple slip or something? I really don't want that uh, By the way, this figure actually comes in uh, comes uh, Actually, this figure doesn't come in one piece like this um, uh, When you first, uh, first got it in a box is actually in pieces in which you have to assemble together for example like the head is removable like so uh, now she is headless now she is headless because uh, this figure is supposed to be like separatable so there's the detail on the face and that is the uh, the hole that's supposed to be putting her uh, face uh, there's like a pack that's gonna be holding her head onto the uh, main her body it's one of the earliest PVC figures I got and I thought that it would be, you know, a nice thing to have. Um, that's the detail on the pack that held her head together. Uh, such as this. And when it's assembled, she looks like so. I'm not sure what the expression is supposed to convey. I'm not sure what kind of situation is she getting herself in. Um, you know, Japanese things. I do believe that she comes with a sword. I don't know where that went. Maybe I have lost it. I really don't care about that anymore. There's like uh, detail on her uh, panty shot or something like that. I really don't care about these things at all. But I decided to keep it anyway because I don't know how to get rid of them. Uh, I don't want to throw them away due to the fact that this thing cost me money once upon a time ago So hopefully I'll be able to make money uh, By selling them to some horny teen uh, Maybe he is interested in purchasing this and getting and get, So I can get rid of this thing once and for all I really don't need this So yeah, that's it That's it for the my review of the first figures I've got one of the first um, anime figures I've got and it is a decent figure it's well sculpted and things like that so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video